Hello and welcome, my name is Rick Utzler. Today we're going to take a look at how to properly mount the bundled optic that came with your Gamo rifle. Our test product today is the Gamo Silent Cat. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is familiarize yourself with the instructions and owner's manual that came with your rifle. Let's go ahead and open this up. So let's go ahead and look at what we have in this package here. We have our very important user's manual. Warranty activation card. An explanation of Gamo's limited warranty. Contact information should you run into problems. And most importantly, we have our scope instruction sheet. Now this piece is very critical. If you have any questions as we go through this process, this is what you're going to need to reference. Okay, now that we've been through the manufacturer's instructions, let's go ahead and start mounting our scope. The first thing you're going to need is a secure place to work on your rifle. Trying to do this by balancing it or holding it or wedging it and still trying to put your scope on the gun is just going to cause you problems. So make sure you have the proper equipment. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the scope from these rings. You can take your Allen key and simply remove the screws from the top. If you take a look at these two rings, you're going to notice that one is definitely different than the other. This one has a stop pin in the back. Now this is very critical because these rifles have what's called reverse recoil. This is what causes your scope to move on the rail if you don't use this properly. And this is nine times out of ten what gives people the biggest amount of problems when they're going to install a scope. If you notice here on your rifle, you have a stop pin hole. So what we're going to do is go ahead and line up our stop pin to this hole. Once we know it's in place, we can go ahead and tighten these screws down and that will lock our mount into place. You can adjust the height of the stop pin through the access in the top of the mount here. So once we're sure we've got this mounted securely, we'll go ahead and tighten up that stop pin so that we know it's definitely in that hole properly. We'll go ahead and place the front mount about three or four inches in front of the rear mount. Make sure that your screws are all facing in the same direction. You want to make sure that these are secure to the rail before you go any further. Don't over tighten because you can strip these out if you're not careful. Okay, now we can go ahead and set our scope and our mounts. You want to replace your top set of rings and begin reinstalling the top screws. At this point, be sure not to tighten these down because we still have to center our scope. So you're just putting these screws in and snugging them up. So at this point, you can still move and manipulate the scope, which is exactly what we want. It's snug, but not too snug. I'm going to go ahead and remove the turret caps, because we're going to do some adjustment here in a minute. Now what you're going to do is go ahead and take the gun, and while you're sighting through the gun, you're going to manipulate the scope to make those crosshairs as square as possible.
And that's about it. That wasn't too bad. Now, once you're happy that your scope is square and you're happy with the position, you can go ahead and snug down these top mounts. Now, there is special tape inside these rings, so you don't have to over tighten them. That tape will actually hold your scope still for you. Now that we have our scope basically mounted, we need to work on sighting it in. Now this part can get a little tricky. Let me show you how it works. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we follow proper safety precautions. And that's that we always use the safety while cocking the gun, and we always secure the barrel when we're loading the pellet. Now when you're ready to fire, you can release the safety. I'm going to aim it at my target and see where it lands. Okay, as you can see, we're not that far off. We're a little low and a little to the left. Now to raise that shot up, we're going to use the top turret and we're going to rotate it in the up direction and it's labeled right on the turret. Now I'm very, very close to this target, so I'm going to need to move this a lot to see that point of impact move. That's about one full rotation. Let's see what kind of change that makes. Safety on. Cock the gun. Make sure that you secure the barrel. That's a whole lot better. Still just a little bit to the left. Now if we want to move that to the right, we're going to use this side turret and again, it's labeled with an arrow that says left, so if we want it to go to the right, we need to move the opposite direction. I think we're doing pretty well. Now, this is shooting very close, so once you are happy with your adjustment at this range, you can go ahead and back up to a more reasonable range, say 20 yards or so, and make your final adjustments with the scope. Once you're satisfied that your scope is set just the way you like it, you can go ahead and replace your turret covers and install your scope covers to keep the dust out of your scope. If you have any questions, be sure to always remember you can go back and reference the materials that came with your rifle and also you have that direct phone number to Gammo in your paperwork. My name is Rick Utzler. Thanks for joining us today.